Hello and welcome to another Avidmax Tying Tuesdays. Today's fly is the Holy Grail Caddis. This is the new Firehole 718 hook. It was recently released. It's a really sweet hook. Just an extra wide gap and a barbless tactical style point on it that you get from Firehole, uh, which is really cool. So a really nice looking hook. And then our thread today is going to be the Vebus 16 knot in red. The main body of our fly is going to be the natural hair's ear dubbing from Hairline. Then we're going to rib it out with some of the pearlescent tinsel. This is the narrow size. From there, we're going to add a little bit of pheasant tail fibers for the back of our fly. And then we're going to have a bead on there, the countersunk tungsten, and we will finish it off with a partridge soft hackle today. All right, so we have our Firehole 315 hook fixed in our vise. This is an awesome hook from Firehole. If you haven't checked their stuff out, do so. You can see the whole line of products on Avid Max. Got a lot of really cool, unique, tactical style, um, competition style hooks. So we're gonna start our thread here and I'm gonna bring it back right towards the middle of the hook. I'm gonna use my bead to kind of measure where I want that to be. And then that's where my thread is gonna end so that I have a little bit of a gauge as to where I'm working. So the first thing we're gonna tie in here once we get our thread all locked down is a little bit of our tinsel. And we're just gonna tie this in right on the top of the hook, fix it down and work our way back. And then we can start dubbing our fly. I like to work a little ways down the bend just to kind of utilize the profile of the hook, get that nice curve shape in this emerging fly. Now we're gonna dub in some of the hair's ear, natural hair's ear dubbing from hairline. You can use a hair's mask if you blend your own dubbing. I like using this package stuff, hairline uh, blends it really nicely. You get a good mix of picky and dubby fibers out of their packaging. So saves you the time of having to do it yourself. But we're just gonna make a little bit of a dubbing noodle Caddis merger can be a little bit bulkier than if we were doing a, a midge or a mayfly or something like that. So fairly healthy W noodle without getting out of control. I'm using some wax just to help me get it nice and sticky. But we'll work our way up here, creating a nice profile, just building a slight taper as we go up to where we marked our thread, to where we're gonna stop our abdomen. Just a little more dubbing here. Just like so, I'm gonna clip out some of the fibers that are sticking out on me. And maybe just a little bit more here. So now I'm going to half hitch this off. And that's where we're going to capture the tinsel that we're going to wrap up here. So just a few wraps of this tinsel, biting down into the hairs you're dubbing, just ribbing it out nicely. And we're going to do three or four to where we're going to capture it out. We can keep working up to our thorax of this bug. So I'll capture that off nicely, and then we're going to add our pheasant tail fiber. So this is the backing of the fly. Watch out for your bobbin arm there. So we'll capture this and tie it down nice and snug. Just like so, right back to where we had our abdomen end. And then we're gonna dub this out a little bit to blend it with where our abdomen ended before bringing the bead back and tying everything over right here. It's a really effective fly for me here in the Rockies, many different locations during the summertime 
It's a great uh, dropper fly on a hopper dropper rig. You can fish it by itself and swing it. Whatever your your tactic is, this, this fly will, will work nicely for you. So we're gonna dub out just a little bit more here before we bring our bead up to that dubbing, just like so. And I'm gonna kind of measure it again. I think I'm gonna add just a slight bit more. So I don't want too much room in front of the bead, just enough to wrap our partridge hack all around it a few times. So we can get some of these picky fibers to play along. There we are. So now we're gonna pull our bead back right up against that dubbing and we're gonna take our thread and we're gonna jump right on top of it. It can be a little tricky. You do wanna stay on top of the bead cause you're gonna try and cover it up with the pheasant tail fibers. And I always like to push my bead back against that dubbing, just make sure it's real snug and then build up a bit of a thread base to keep everything in place there. From that, we can bring our pheasant tail up over the bead and the dubbing that we have back there. And we're gonna try and get these to lay nice and flat here. Right on top. And we'll capture those in the front. Couple wraps on top, couple wraps in front before we clip them out. And then again, make just another clean thread base for that partridge hackle. All right, so now we got that nice tie-in point on our partridge hackle here. I'm gonna utilize that and we'll do a couple of wraps to lock it in. And then we'll trip out that excess. Just like so. And we can wrap it down, clean up the front here in order to wrap a nice soft hackle over the top of it. So I'm gonna half hitch right behind the hook eye, like so. And we'll grab our hackle here. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab the back of the stem with my hackle pliers again. And then I'm gonna hold that feather upright and I'm gonna kinda just get everything to go backwards a little bit, get those fibers to kinda lay back before we start to wrap them around. And then as we go, we're gonna continue to do that and get all of our barbels to splay backwards on this fly. So we'll do two or three wraps towards the front. And then we can come through and capture that out. Just like so. Try to avoid trapping too many barbels. And then we can trim out our excess here. And then just make sure everything is kind of laying back and is nice and snug here. So we'll make a nice red eye here, head on our fly. And give her a whip finish. From there on this guy, I always like to add some Zap-A-Gap. Just kind of makes that red head nice and shiny. Maybe a little bit of a hot spot for the fish. Again, this is just a really effective caddis emerging fly in the summertime. If you have not tried it, it's uh, definitely worth giving it a shot. And we'll 
we'll kind of get those fibers to splay out how we want on there. And there is a nice completed Holy Grail Caddis Merger. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you have a fly you'd like to see us tie in the future, leave us a comment below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, subscribe to the Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there. My heart over my mind, I'm not over.